rolling. What's up YouTube? How you guys doing today? So in my last video I made some rainbow wolverine claws using some rainbow knives. Let me grab it one second. Ooh. Yes. Here, here they are. I think it looks freaking sweet. You guys really seem to like this video as well. Did another Wolverine Claw video, loving that. Did uh, Rainbow Swords actually too, and you guys also seem to like that. So I thought I'd keep going with this theme and make another project involving these Rainbow Blades, and that is gonna be a Rainbow Assassin's Creed wrist blade. I, I know what you guys want. I got, I got you covered, definitely gonna be a cool video. Show this as best I can. I have no idea how this is actually gonna turn out. I'll leave links to the sword I'm actually gonna use down in the description. I'm planning on chopping off part of it to use as the blade, because obviously I can't fit a whole sword on my wrist. Actually. Anyway, off topic. One more thing before we start. Definitely follow me on Instagram. Links below as well. Uh, if you want to be updated with a new project I'm doing soon, also I give some of my projects away on there. So make sure you're following me. If that sounds at all interesting, definitely check it out. Links in the description. Let's do this.
there we go. We've pretty much just finished up the Assassin's Creed wrist knife uh, rainbow edition. So uh, I'm gonna walk you through a little bit about how it works. It's actually kind of a simple design, but it does give a really cool effect. So pretty much all you gotta do is just pull up on this ring, let's touch my thumb, and then, ooh, blade pops out with a decent amount of power if I do say so myself. So obviously we've got the blade right here, but if you take it off, you just come some straps, as per usual with my designs. So yeah, here it is. Uh, it's full metal on the front. Actually, that's a lie. Got some plastic rails, but uh, shh. Yeah, and then it's got this uh, carbon fiber panel on the back. Covers up everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew that and show you guys what's inside. So inside, we've got the knife, uh, which runs on this metal track right here. And it's got a bolt through the end with kind of a nut on the back right here. And this nut has a string attached to it on the back as well as a spring on the front. Spring's just held in place with a little screw right here. Basically, whenever the knife slides, the spring slides. Um, and it's inside this kind of like wooden channel right here. Um, so there's two ways to get the knife back in currently uh, until I have a better reloading system. But right now, it's just kind of pulling this string. This locking mechanism takes over and it will lock in place. Um, so the locking mechanism is this side thing right here. Uh, so basically, it's a piece of tube that rotates. There's a little rod that sticks through and connects to this tube. Um, so when this tube rotates, it pulls the rod away from the front of the bolt, uh, which releases the knife and lets it shoot out. So just like that, whenever you pull this, it moves away. And then of course, to remap this to my hand, we've got a string that travels out of this tube, down through this other side tube, and uh, out to the front right here. We've got it tied around a little key ring so I can just slip it on my thumb, have it attached to my hand. Yeah, I can activate it like that so when I pull up, you can see the bar moves uh, when I pull up my thumb. And then to hold it on my wrist, we've just got some straps that attach on uh, to my wrist. So pretty much, as you saw, these just wrap around um, and then Velcro around my wrist. Super simple, uh, effective as well. There you go, that's the design pretty sturdy, uh, so I don't even need any top part over here. So you can really see like the rainbow blade all the way, which I find really cool. Like I was gonna cover it up at first, but uh, I figured just leave it like this, um, cause it just looks really cool. The sword itself though, isn't like that sharp. Like obviously it could probably do some damage, pretty much just more for looks. But regardless, we're still gonna test it on some stuff, see what happens, let's do it. Alright guys, well there you go, that's the video. Hope you guys did like it. Uh, I think this build came out really cool. Um, and now I have a Rainbow Edition Assassin's Creed Blade to go along with my Rainbow Edition Wolverine Claws. Let's go, hey. Yeah, don't, don't try attacking this workshop, it's not gonna go well. <laughs> Anyways, if you did like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, drop your ideas down in the description of uh, cool stuff you want to see me make next. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Like, come on, guys. How freaking cool does this thing look? Uh, plus, if you like wear it under a sleeve, it's like pretty much invisible. Also, if you want to see what I'm up to in the future uh, before I release videos, if you want to win some of these cool stuff that I make, uh, go follow me on the Instagram down below. So that's uh, pretty much it for this video, guys. Once again, hope you did like it. Take it easy, and I will catch you in the next video. Ooh, never gets old. I'm not